Okay, here we're going to look at a very common question of should I get separate germination or propagation media and should I get separate grow media or can I just get one? Now we're familiar with the germination process and what that requires starting from seed and then the grow process of the actual plant. And each of these can have specific media associated with that, but is it worth going through that extra step there? Well, first off, let's look at our germination media. Uh, also sometimes called propagation mix. These are contains typically smaller particles that help improve the soil to seed contact. Keep in mind that we need to keep moisture levels consistent with the seed uh, to help increase our germination rate. And this is uh, especially important for smaller sized seeds. This can help reduce transplant shock. So that's why it's important to use a propagation mix when looking at propagating or starting especially small seeds. In contrast to that, grow formulations, they contain larger particles. They help aeration uh, for the growing of full-size plants, as we see here. Our roots need to be able to breathe, uh, even in the container here. We need to allow this increased porosity. So again, that goes back to the question of, should we get specialized formulations of propagation and grow media? Ideally, if we're looking to maximize each step of the process, well, yes. Uh, but if we're only going to choose one, grow formulations can be used for propagation. You have to spend extra careful attention at keeping the media moist, and it may require increased misting events or keeping that humidity a little bit higher, especially in the early phases of the germination process. Hopefully that answers and clarifies some of the germination versus grow medias and how each is specifically designed to be used.